Hello, my name is Malik Mestri. I am a consultant with Pragmatic Works. Today, I am going to show a little issue that was presented to us by a customer of ours uh, that wanted to be able to export uh, what was in this Power BI crosstab uh, that's very wide, that's not visible on the screen here, and be able to uh, see the data in Excel, print it in its entirety. So if it took three pages, they didn't care, but they wanted it printed uh, wide uh, with all the entire cross tab visible. Uh, they also wanted to uh, be able to distribute it. And so like an Excel format would have been great. Uh, uh, you know, the options that are available in uh, Power BI are PowerPoint, PDF, or print. Um, all these three options give you a result set that looks like this, which is a snapshot of what's visible on the screen. Not so you cannot, I cannot drag and drop this to the right. It was a very limited option and we weren't able to kind of see what's past, uh, what's not visible on the screen. So what we did is we created um, an Excel document that's connected to the model that you see right here. Um, and with that Excel file, you were able, we were able to reconstruct what's here, right here in this um, crosstab directly in there. So it could be used and you see right here, it's linked right there. You click on that link, you basically see it right there. Now the customer is able to print it. They're able to distribute it, copy it, paste it, whatever they want to do with the data they're able to do it uh, freely without having to worry about the export options. Uh, so just want to demo, uh, show you guys how to do this. Very simple, uh, but uh, you know, not very intuitive. What we did is we used this option called Analyze in Excel. Uh, we, when you click this option, what it does is it gives you an ODC connection file. You open it and it opens an Excel workbook. And that is the magic. That's where the magic happens. It is connected to the model that's in Power BI, um, just like it would be, you know, an Excel pivot would be connected to a tabular queue. And you see the, the definition right there. You see, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the server name and all that right there. Uh, so using this uh, pivot table, we were able to create this right there that looks something like this and then save it to your local instance. So save as somewhere, um, hourly sales, save, replace, doesn't matter really. Uh, and what we did is we saved the copy of this file to um, a network location, which in our case was the SharePoint site. And the SharePoint site lets you uh, upload this uh, right here, upload option, upload file, and you can go to your file and upload this document right there. Uh, actually, this is not the one, it's actually this one. And we, you just click open and it would connect here. Now, once it's imported into this network shared location, you can click right here, click on copy link, and that gives you a hyperlink to this file directly. And what we did is we took this hyperlink, used the Power BI option right here, um, and uh, the text box. And just use the link option right here to paste it. Right there. And then rename this to Excel version. I like to do it like this so I don't lose any of the the connection, the URL. It's it's kind of old school, but that's how I do it. Works. That's it. And basically to get this back in the cloud on the published version, you just publish it online, and you have it saved. of seconds later you have this option right here and now I 
it's created and open a clean version of this. Now, anytime I hit data, refresh all, it would bring the latest version of the data set that's here. So we don't have to worry, worry about when it's going to be exported. Also, the beauty of this option is that you can you don't even have to share the direct link or the file. You can just share this location with the user and they can all go on their own and get this file, uh, the latest version of the file. And it works with the role level security that's built into the Power BI model, if there is any, and it would filter the data according to whatever the, the um, how the security is set up. Uh, it's a very uh, simple solution and it works. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you guys. Thank you.